YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Room 2, Hannibal at the Gates. In the previous episode, we took Olisipo and all that's left of the Lusitani are these four armies. They're all single units apart from this one, and they're all depleted. So, in the coming turn or two, we'll probably wipe them out completely. And if we have a quick look at the tactical overview, we now own all of this. The whole province is ours now as well, Lusitania, and I'll probably, I may go south, I may go north, I haven't quite decided yet, to see how things go. So first things first, we'll get in Edict, so what can we go for? Food and public order would be handy, tax rate might be good, reduce the slave population, I'm going to go with the, with the tax rate, just to get my funds up. Uh, Lisa Poe can be upgraded as well by the looks of things. What have we got? Could go for a fisherman village. Fishing village. Gives me plus eight food. I'm doing quite well for food, so I might not need that at the moment. Apart from food and a little bit more wealth. Artisan's lodging we have. Brine distiller. Hmm, what to go for? Bronze workshop. Unlocks recruitment of Scutari Spearmen. Now that would be handy, I think. Go for the Bronze Workshop in that case. Just double check what we have. This army is replenishing. Champions of Ibora. Hammer of Helmantic. I'm going to rename this army now, I think. And what can we call it? Um, the Lusitani. The Sitani Terror, I think we call them. Simply because this is the army responsible for wiping them out. And I think we can probably end turn. But before we do, I just want a quick check. I do this every episode. So it's only the Lusitani we're at war with. They're going to be wiped out. Carthage doesn't like us, which and they are around about here. They're actually at war with the Oratani. So it might be wise for me to try and take out the Oratani next. I need this province as well. And I can start taking out some of the Turtadani lands as well. And the other ones don't like us are the Vascones, which are in the north. Now, I'm not really bothered about the north too too much at the moment. So I think Oratani is probably going to be our best bet. Unfortunately, the Oratani are trading with us. But I wonder... No, they don't want to join the Confederation. What if I offer them everything I have? Nope, not interested. Cantabri can trade with us as well. They're not at war with anybody, so it, maybe it's good to try and get a trade with them. You, uh, Moderate chance. What about some money? Give me a thousand, honor. please. Well, they There's demand a hundred. I don't think so. Just, just trade? No? Okay, then. <laughs> Fair enough. The Gaetuli. We can now see the Gaetuli down here. They're not at war with anyone. They're not allied with anyone. Might be worth actually sailing down here and trying to take the Gaetuli out. I am thinking about it. I need to get some land in Africa eventually, so maybe it would be good to start with them. But we'll end turn, and we'll see what happens in the end turn phase. And I also have to say thank you very much for the viewership that I'm getting on this Let's Play. The first episode has recently um, hit the 400 view mark, which is phenomenal for my channel. And we have a battle, and we're actually up against it because they've recruited lots and lots of mercenaries my my oh my they've surprised me here with the mercenaries they have I need to fight this battle to finally get rid of them I'm not in the best of shape to do this mind you these are slingers I do have cavalry if I can get my cavalry on the slingers I'll be looking good that's only the scutari I have to watch out for okay yeah, we'll fight this battle battle of Ebora Celtiberian Confederation versus Lusitani. We do have a garrison of 400 as well. But yeah, like I was saying, I had all 400 views for that first episode. It's, it's quite big for my channel. Most of my videos, my Let's Plays, they usually get 50, 60, 70 views. So to get 400 on the first episode, and I think the second episode is nearly on 200 as well. So, you know, thank you very much. I do hope you all are enjoying this Let's Play. I'm certainly enjoying playing it. Right then.
So it looks like they're going to start out over there. Now I, I wonder. I don't have the right units. There is a unit, I can't remember what it's called, which can actually deploy outside its deployment zone here. Anyway, alas, we shall take all our skirmishing troops. What do they have here? They have Scutari, Scutari, Scutari. Right, so the General and the Scutari are all here. We want to take them out as early as possible. So let's get all my skirmishing troops up here. Like so. They're going to go and attack them straight away. My tribesmen are going to be my last resort. Where's my capture point? We're going to stick them in the capture point for now until we work out what we want to do with them. We'll just group them up for now. I want to actually group these up as well. I forgot to do it. Like so. And we want my general. Put him in the centre by here. I don't know where their reinforcements are going to come from. I assume it will be behind them, but you never know with this game. Keep my other cavalry nearby. My ballista is going to be centralised as well. Should be in range from there. And then the rest of my troops can form a second line just across here. And they can be grouped up as well. So I'm, I'm pretty confident with this. Let's have a quick look at my men. Zoom in. Have a little look at them. He doesn't look too friendly, does he? He looks like the type of guy you'd see in a pub on a Friday night. Slightly pissed. Anyway, we will start the battle and we shall put all these troops onto quick reload. And are they marching towards us? They are indeed. My. Oh, we can't see them. That's not good. There we go. Oh, excellent. We got some shots away straight away. It looks like their reinforcements are coming all the way over here. Now, most of these are slingers. They do have some cavalry which I'm going to have to look out for. But what I intend to do is take four of these spear units and we'll get them down here as quickly as possible to take out the cavalry. Now my slingers, time to start slinging. Do your thing. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. They do outnumber me, so I've got to be careful. Go on, fire, hit them from there. If possible. We may have to turn some of these troops around. Looks like it's... Orders. Let's get a couple of shots on ourselves. Hope for the best. That looks too good. Ooh. Yep, I'll do. Took a few of them out. Making funny cow noises at that. <laughs> Uh, let's get into a shield formation. Where are my men going? Where are they gone? Oh, there they go. They're running, walking around by the looks of things. I don't mind that. That's okay. Don't mind it that they're engulfing me. I want to take two of these units forward. We're also going to turn this unit around. And we get frenzy going. We're going to charge in. Whoa, attack you fool. There we go, attack in there. Plug the hole with this unit. I don't mind them chasing off my skirmishers at the moment. Skirmishers! Just keep skirmishing there, General. Throw this unit in as well. For old time's sake. My plan is to take out the this side of the army with my cavalry. That's why I want to keep them centralised at the moment, and it looks like we are being outflanked, so... Uh-oh. Charge! Right. It's me being too relaxed. Pull the ballista back, please. Like so. I think I've saved the ballista just about. And we're actually going to stick Warcry on. Frenzy charge, and we're going to inspire my unit. That should be enough to overtake them, outdo them. Both these units can charge in the Scutari. Gonna keep slinging the generals from three directions here. And we can keep slinging them. They're all busy, they're all preoccupied. Get all my tribesmen in this position here. 
to see off the danger that's there. Let's bring these tribes. Oh, don't want that. Let's bring my ballista. Getting them back a little bit to there. Ah, we seem to be doing pretty well now. It's going fairly, fairly well. Let's plug the hole here. Taking our time this side of the battlefield. Still slinging, still slinging. The general seems to have disappeared as well. Looks like we're going to defeat them and have enough time to, to get back into position to see off the remainder. And now where's my cavalry gone? I want both my cavalry units, which are up here, to flank over there. And what I will do with the cavalry is then come around, hit them in the rear, take out these three units with the cavalry, and all they have left then are this remnants of the army. So, get the ballista to do that. Spears ready. Let's get shield wall up. Bring this one around. Bring this one to face. And what we're going to do now, charge them all into the cavalry. Like so, see off the cavalry. We're actually outnumbered here, so it's going to be a bit awkward. That's why I'm trying to engulf the cavalry. Let's bring the skirmishers out as well. Now my general can flank round in the distance with my other unit of cavalry. Check how things are going. Going fairly well, I think. Looked like to get a few more shots away with the ballista. Let's try a pot shot from there. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Oh, just missed them. Not a bad effort, though. And it looks like we are in slight danger. I don't have much of an inventory left, so I'm going to have to be careful. bring the general back. I need the general over here now. They are starting to outnumber me this side. Unfortunately. Ballista. See if we can get a few shots into that little that little ruckus over there. Try one about there, perhaps. Hope I don't hit my own men. Oh, I think I did. Oh well. It happens. Let's get war cry going. Oh, there we go, just in time for the war cry. And now we can charge in with the cavalry. Huzzah! Die, you cretins! Die! Ah! Doing a pretty good job. Getting some kills. Getting some lovely kills. And I think that's more or less. Oh, there's one over here. Where are they? They are. That's the general unit. I think we'll send our general to face him off. If he doesn't rout before then. Get unit cam going. Oh, and we have a victory. So end battle. Costly victory. But a victory nonetheless. Plenty of kills. My general had 200 kills. My ballista 108. My cavalry had 308. So well done them. 7 minutes 2 seconds. And that is the end of the Lusitani now, you'd think. Oh, right in the gut, that has got to hurt. Furic victory. Release the captives. Oh, there are some of them left. Oh, they're just going to attack me at, at Lysipo, I think. Yeah, there's no point fighting this guy. There's only 19 of them, so we'll auto-resolve. And how can I lose 92%? That don't make sense. We'll go for a protective stance. It's the end of him. Thank you for that. Goodbye. Down he goes. Yeah, there we go. So we will release the captives. And that should be the end of the Lusitani. Military traditions. So, rank 3. Mission successful. Completely control one province either by direct ownership or through military allies. So, 
8,500 in the treasury, my god. Objective issued, maintain 50 units in total. And if I do that, I get more money, that's good. I have a lot of money at the moment. Don't know what to do with it all. Lusitani is still alive, they have this unit here, but there's no need to worry about them, is it? So I got all this money, so I'm going to have to start building a empire now with what I have. Now, I'm going to start off with Olisipo and start with. I lose public order with that. Stables. Uh, farm, I lose public order. Most of these I will lose public order from now, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, I'll get Celt. Celtiberian cavalry, so it's worth getting the stables, I think. And what else do we need? Fishermen's huts. Fishing village, get more of a garrison. No, we actually get the same garrison. Uh, it's not worth that at the moment, I don't think. Barbarian village, barbarian small town. More of a garrison, a bit more replenishment, a bit more wealth. We'll go for that as well. And Ebora can have a barbarian town olive oil as well. So that will do Lusitania for now. And then, what else do we own? We own Numantia up here, which is pretty happy with me. And we own Tolatum as well. Now, Tolatum, got horse pens, could do with a stable. Grove of NATO, Shrine of NATO, plus four public order. Might be worth going for that. Lose food with that though, so we'll go with a Shrine of NATO for now. And we still have over 2,000 in our treasury. We'll just double check our other town up here, Lugos. Now Lugos is quite isolated up here. I'm happy to keep a general here with the garrison. Garrison's only nine. Huh. Ruberos. How many generals do I have? Champions of Bora can level up. Melee, melee units. Morale for all units to an ambush. We want that one. Go for that one. Defenders of Endovelicus. We will call that Defenders of Lugos. Oops, wrong button. There we go. And we'll get little dragon head or seahorse, whatever it's supposed to be. And I can start building an army from here, I think, to go south. Or but maybe we need one in the north anyway, so to begin with, we'll just get some spearmen, three spearmen, three slingers, three swordsmen. So we're going to do that with that army while that builds up up there. That's going to patrol the north. And then we have these two. I think we probably stay here for a few turns to replenish. Same with this army as well, just replenish. I actually have a lot of mercenaries, don't I, I think? Let's see, slingers. Right, they, they're mercenaries so they can go. Mercenary, both of these are mercenaries, so they can both go. Mercenary, cavalry can go. This is mine, and the rest is mine. So, all of them can stay in here. And I'm thinking about taking out the Gaetuli. Sail all the way down here and take out this. Now, what do the Gaetuli hold all together? Is it just this? I, th I think it's. Yeah, Carthage owns that, so it's only the Gaetuli that own this. They're not at war with anyone, so I wouldn't suffer any penalties. I need to get something in North Africa eventually. Now if I end up at war with Carthage, I can hit them from here and from here. So I think that's what I'm going to aim to do. They do have a lot. Two full stacks almost. So I'm going to need a big army to take them out if I decide to do that. Let's see. Don't think there's much more I can do this turn. So we'll end turn. But I need to work out what's what direction I'm going to go in. Do I fight north and take out some more lands? Do I fight south? And I'm going to auto-resolve this again because you know it's it's too easy. And that's the end of the Lusitani. They are done for. Bye bye. So
decisive victory. I'm going to release them again. The reason why I'm releasing is to keep up good relations with other factions. If you're constantly killing your prisoners, then... Right, they want a defensive alliance. I think I might go for these instead. I want to get this full province. And then once I get the Turtadani lands, I can then go south to Gaituli if they're still there. So... I'm going to break this. I don't want a defensive alliance with you. Because that may bring me into a war with Carthage. I don't want that. Lusitani are destroyed. And now... I can work out what to do. So they have Kartuba and they have Libisoa. Now I need an army. Where's my this is my nearest army, I think. Okay, we technology we need to do first, so let's get some military tech. What haven't I? We'll get that for now and then we can get yeah, we go for that. I'll be fine. This army can start building. And we got lots of men we can recruit now in this province. We actually got some Scutari spearmen. Look at that. I want to get some of them. They look cool. They look beastly, if I may say so myself. So we get four of them. Two units of cavalry. Another ballista. And what else are we missing? Another unit of slingers. I think that army, in three turns' time, will be good to go. It's going to take one more turn to replenish these three units as, as well. So this army in three turns time is going to march on, I think we'll go for Kartuba. Although I think that's a walled city, so we may have to be careful. Where's my spy? It's about time I use my spy, I think. So bring my spy through the lands, through Ebora. And we're going to bring him to Kartuba. I want to scout out to see what this boa is actually open to the taking. They've got 11 units there. Kartuba is going to be the, the hardest one to take so I might go for that first but eventually I will go for uh, this boa. This army. This army is replenishing at Alisipo. If I take them out na now I get minus only, oh, only minus one. That's not too bad. It's better than what I thought. That is a lot better than what I thought. What's my edict? Plus five tax. Probably better to get bread and games plus food. Because of all the squalor I'm getting. So I'm going to go for that. And this army can actually move out as well. So I'm going to move up with two armies. One is going to go to Kartuba. The other one's going to go to Lisboa. This one can camp out there for now. So, they are my plans for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.